All right, what's up, guys? It's Back to the Beach with Stephen and Kristen. I'm, of course, Stephen Coletti. I'm Kristen Cavallari. You guys, I am so excited. Today is huge. We have Alex Huser on with us. Alex, oh my Yay. God. It's so Who's good to see you. Yay. Oh, <laughs> Hi, everybody. <Kristen. laughs> guys, I just have to say, Alex, you look so good. It's not even, I'm like staring at your face right now. You look incredible. You look the same, but you just look so good too. So it's oh, just so good to you. see your face. Oh, you guys um, too. When is the last time we saw each other? I mean, it had oh. to be in like 2006 or 2007, right? So long ago. Yeah. I mean, we've stayed in touch, but like, I think since we like were face to face, it was like 2006 or seven. No, I'm just so surprised sad. that you guys haven't seen each other in person since then. I mean, I guess you guys both, Well, like Alex, where did you go after, get everyone up to speed a little bit after high school, where did you wander off to? <laughs> oh god well that was like crazy um as you guys remember like we were able to just kind of do like go with the flow with the appearances and kind of take opportunities that would present itself mm -hmm. so I kind of jumped on that bandwagon for a while um until that fizzled out and like came to a halt abruptly were you still living in, <laughs> in Laguna right after high school did you were you living in LA we, yeah, we lived I together. Lived out, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so we were roommates for yeah, five yeah. seconds, but we were. <laughs> I know. We all, yeah, Chris and I are roommates like right out of high school. I think we had our apartment like even during the last couple months of high school. <laughs> we did because we would go up uh -huh. there and we would party. I, I don't yeah. remember ever oh, yeah. being invited to this to this apartment. Was I ever? Because I was oh. dating Sam, Stephen. Uh, <laughs> you yes. know that. Sam again. <laughs> Sam, Sam Slash and then Brody. <laughs> That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sam is so Aww. hot. He's he so, so hot. hot. He I was mean, so hot. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, wait. So after you moved out of our place in Marina Del Rey, did you mm -hmm. move in with Alex Merle or did I make that up? No, yeah, I did. Okay. So yeah. um yeah, we moved out and then I moved in with Alex Merle, and that was super fun. Um and God, I don't even know. It's such a blur now. I think I've like kind of walked that side, like that phase out of my life out. But um, yeah. yeah, no, it was really fun though. Um, yeah, it was really so you, fun. So I lived in LA for a while and then eventually moved back to Laguna. You guys just kind of your back and forths, I think are some of the, the, the greatest moments in the show. So when you first watched the show, do you, what was like, do you remember those first impressions? Like watching that first tape and being like, all right, here we go. What was that like for you? Yeah, um, I think after a bit, like I knew the role that I was there to fulfill, which was to be Kristen's friend and, you know, answer the questions that were needing to be like answered or sorry, <laughs> ask the questions that were needing to be answered. Um, so it's easier to adapt to that role. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I totally knew like I was Kristen's friend. How did you get a lot of the, the questions but that you're like, okay, this is what I need to ask. Oh, I mean, the, the producers would just be right there, like totally setting it up and saying, okay, so when you guys are going to sit here and chat and it would be like prom per se. And then they would just basically be like, so I want you to ask Kristen what she thinks of, uh, you know, who's going with who and how, <laughs> how they got asked and your opinions on that. So we were definitely like, it wasn't like, it was here's the script, but it was yeah. please say this. Yeah. What would you is there one question that you got? Like they're like, all right, we need you to ask about. And it was the one that it was there one that was like super annoying because they had you ask it all the time. Was there like a repeat <laughs> question? Like, oh. Yeah. Um, I mean, I feel like that happened a lot. Like I remember some days it would be Kristen, Jessica, and I, and there was one event we had to film, like literally a, again, a conversation about prom, but it was almost like it was like the end of July and so we had to yeah. like go to the beach and set up beach chairs and be like let's talk about prom and we yeah. were all so over it and like <laughs> we knew what they wanted but I just remember all of our attitudes were just like f this like this is so annoying and like 
Yeah. It's so funny because <laughs> watching it back now, I can tell when the three of us were finally just like, I can't have this conversation another fucking no. time. And we also like put no effort into our appearance anymore. It was like our scene. Maybe it's more so <laughs> uh, senior year. So season two, but like towards the end, just like, fuck this. Yeah. And then we would start doing like our little inside jokes and like saying our little things. And then they'd put them in the show and I'm like, they don't make sense to anybody else or everyone thinks we're being serious. Like calling, I think we were calling Alex and uh, Taylor street walkers in the show, oh. but do you remember it was Jessica Reynolds, our producer on the other side of the street. And mm -hmm. they had us walking up and down by the high school. And we were like, oh, street walker, like all this shit, like making fun of her. And then they made it seem like we were talking about the other girls. Oh yeah. Like they had the death stuff all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the wink and nod that you have, Alex, when, especially when you're at the beach, there's one particularly like really cloudy, cold day and they, they wanted you guys to shoot like a beach scene. And you all have the same matching beach chairs that MTV <laughs> gave to you. And I think you rolled up a little later and you kind of, you roll up holding the thing in a way where you can tell you're so over it and you kind of flick it open. And you're like, Hey guys, <laughs> isn't this perfectly normal? Which is yeah, really right? funny. And I think that we can nod, uh, we're, audience kind of picks up on on that a little bit and and I think it's fun to see those moments um and you guys do I thought you did a great job with you could tell that you're you've got a lot of stuff being fed to you to get uh to ask Kristen and I think it comes off natural in a lot of it you could tell when you guys are over it what you guys were just mentioning but I I've been watching it going like damn like Alex killed it with this like she had so much to do you have a big responsibility to tee up yeah. all these conversations make it interesting and and kind of you know, go along with it. And you did a good job with that. And and, and so they give you props. Yeah, you kept all. the storyline going. You were pivotal yeah. in that. In Thanks. your yeah. I'm fresh t-shirt with the little uh the oh god. Do you remember this? It's the Kristen's wearing a shirt that says <laughs> pillow talk is extra. Oh yeah. Which I I think was that your one. shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so they both were Alex's shirts. Uh, yeah. that's good. Oh god. But I Alex... don't even think I understood what that meant. But yeah. Me either. I know. <laughs> I said the same thing. No clue. I was like, what is it? But Alex, I love your shirt. You're you've got one of those uh car fresheners that's a tree. And then and it says like in the rainbow form, it says, I'm fresh. <laughs> and... <laughs> Do you still have that shirt? And can I have oh, it? Oh, God, no. No, that was probably like free gear from like Abercrombie or Hollister or something crazy. Yep. Like, and we had no idea what it meant. We're like, cool, we'll wear it. Yeah, yeah exactly. You just shit. Yeah. That's so funny. Wait, Alex, so when you look back on the show, what are just your overall thoughts and feelings toward it? Like, are you happy that you did it? Did you have a good time? Yeah, of course. I mean, no, it was a really cool experience. And um, I mean, obviously, like, looking back now, or if like, like, I don't watch an episode, but people will be like, Oh, it was on MTV this summer. And I saw you or someone will send me like a like a snippet or whatever. Um, I mean, it's definitely embarrassing, because we just <laughs> had no idea. And like, to think again, that it's still so relevant today is so crazy. Um, but no, it was a really good experience. Experience. I think it was awesome to be a part of. Yeah, and, thought, um, yeah. I was say we thought we were pulling one over on MTV. Like we thought we were getting free trips to Catalina. We're getting some oh, yeah. free dinners, and like oh, this God. isn't gonna this isn't gonna <laughs> stay anywhere, or if it's gonna even end up on air. And then yeah, here we are, all these la years later, freaking talking about it. <laughs> it's yeah, crazy. crazy. But it's it's I think it's awesome to have you know uh, to be able to connect and, and talk about it and see you because I haven't seen you in, in a very long time. Um, and yeah, it's just weird how life works that way in our little unique, uh, Laguna bubble over here. I know. Do you, yeah. do you have, do you have any regrets from the show? Is there anything that you wish that you could have done differently? Um, no, I mean, I guess like in the big picture, I guess I would have like, I don't want to say change anything, but kind of like, of course we didn't know how big it was going to be. Um, and I knew my role, like, again, as your friend and to like you know ask the questions that needed to be asked but um I guess like if in like a perfect world if I would have had like a little bit of my own independence but at the same time like my I was just kind of cruising like doing my thing like I didn't really have drama about like any kind of relationships or yeah boy drama like aside from like the girlfriend to girlfriend drama which was also somewhat like manipulated in a sense. Right. Um, 
Yeah. I mean, no, no major regrets really. Like looking back, I mean, it's, it's really sweet. Cause like on uh, social media, when the fans write out, they're like, Oh, you're so sweet. You were such a good friend. And you always mm-hmm. had like such a good way of talking. And so it's really sweet to hear that. But like, for me and my perspective, I'm like, I feel like I was like such a dip. So it's like no. so dorky, like such a bitch, but <laughs> <laughs> my favorite so, yeah. scene is you and I laying in my bed talking about, Oh God, what was the quote? Oh my God. Uh, the end, the, Steven, help me out the beginning of the end or something like that. Oh Remember? yeah. Yeah. Um, it's the, be- it's and- the end of Wait, it's the beginning. Yeah, it's the beginning of the end. I think that's the beginning what it was. of the end, and like you and I trying to have a conversation of what the hell it actually means is like, oh, that's, oh. it's so funny though. <laughs> <laughs> or like, I just love that like we did have all these little inside jokes. Like even, do you remember the fiesta? The fiesta that you had yes. when we were. I mean, we were so drunk. Like you and I started pounding margaritas at like one in the oh. afternoon. <laughs> but we're yeah, like terrible. walking down the stairs doing the Miss America <laughs> wave. Like I love those moments when it truly was how like goofy and silly we were. I love that mm-hmm. there are little snippets of that. That makes me so happy. Yeah, and so Alex, true too. It, Alex, do you have one of those um moments, or I guess one of those scenes that sticks out? For you as as a favorite or it will kind of you know sometimes you your mind wanders to it it makes you laugh to this day oh um i mean obviously the fiesta because as kristen <laughs> said we were like literally started drinking it was like a friday after school too like i think we yeah. got off school and we're like let's have a fiesta <laughs> so, um, oh. but like those like probably all the raw real moments where you know it wasn't so set up for filming you know like it wasn't like uh, go get a manicure and talk about something. So, um, there was that, I think there was a couple points on the Catalina trip too, where we were all just really hanging out and Mm. camping and vibing and like whatever we're doing around the campfire. Um, (laughs) what's another one? There's one, I think for me, it was when, um, you, Kristen and Jessica were getting ready for like their Valentine's dates. (laughs) Uh And I was just like, they, I was just there and I kind of, I remember hanging out and I was feeling like, like so dumb because I didn't have a date to get ready for, but like, I was like scheduled to be there filming. So I was kind of like, didn't understand why I just had to be like sitting there waiting for the girls to get ready for their <laughs> dates. So I was just on the bed with my little chihuahua at the time Billy! Just trying to entertain myself. Yeah, <laughs> Billy. And then I think that's when I like, I told Jessica, I was like, cause Jessica was like, she she had really liked Jason at that point <laughs> I know exactly what you're about to say yeah so I like made a joke I was like oh Jessica Jason's calling you and she's like huh what like all excited I'm like just kidding like I just needed she some comes, entertainment like, running out of the bathroom <laughs> yeah. she's like really you're like no yeah by the way you want to hear what's so funny I actually had coffee with Jason this morning he lives 15 minutes from me we've reconnected and become really close again which oh. I love Oh I know God. it's so crazy how life works out like that yeah that's it, amazing it does feel like you keep yourself entertained pretty well uh it, it, with <laughs> dealing with a lot of those questions that they're having you ask and just like if you're just hanging out with someone else is getting ready I, I yeah. do enjoy those moments and I think the scenes between the two of you uh throughout the show are, are, are really what makes it and those unique moments that even though years later it could feel like it's it's kind of painful to watch it back because we say a lot of stupid stuff but it's also, I mean, that's, that's what you, that's what you do at 18 years old, you know? Mm-hmm. And so to have the ability to, to look back and laugh at it now is, is something, uh, and we're of course always going to be so hard on ourselves, but you can look at it and be like, I mean, fuck, we were just such knuckleheads. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. But I really do love the scenes between the two of you guys, because there are a lot of unedited moments uh, where you do, or you guys are just giving each other shit. You're calling each other whores or, so, you know, it's just like, <laughs> it's what kids do. And, and, and it's, and it's so, um, yeah, that dynamic between the two of you was super fun. Wait, do you still talk to Jessica? No, oh, no, no, no. Like maybe through social media, we'll be like, we'll reach out to say, hi, hope you're well. Yeah. Um, but no, I mean, not consistently, but I do like Alex Merle, like she, we talked on the phone yesterday because I told her about today. So she was oh, like, nice or filming or doing the podcast with you guys. So she was just kind of giving me a pep talk and just, um, but we'll definitely, we talk probably like once a month. Oh, you, I, the- I, I remember both you, Alex Merle and I, we were trying to get together for a while. And it's like between all of our schedules, it's just has, it's 
so mm-hmm. hard with kids and everything, but we do need to make that happen. I, so where yeah. are you living now? Cause I know you were in Hawaii and then you moved to California. So where are you? Yeah. So now I'm in Santa Cruz. Um, we moved here about a year ago from Hawaii and then Hawaii was there for about 12 years. And so. you're married and you have two kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Married with two kids. And we live in Santa Cruz now. Cause that's where my husband's from here. Um, so after Hawaii, we just, our kids were getting older and we were essentially just alone. And we were living on the North shore, which is like countryside of mm-hmm. Oahu. So we were like on an Island in the country, like <laughs> We had friends and everything, but it just felt like we just wanted more community. So now we're in Santa Cruz, which is kind of a lot like Laguna. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very cool. When do you think you'll show your kids Laguna Beach or will you, do you think you'll you'll show it to them or will they just have to find it on the internet? (laughs) What's going to come first? (laughs) I think like when they get to that age where it's like a little bit more appropriate, maybe for them to like, (laughs) to see what's going on. But, um, I would, I wouldn't have a problem with them watching it. Like again, once Mm -hmm. they're age appropriate, but I think that they'll probably look at it the same way my husband did, which is like, uh, what is this? This is like, I can't (laughs) handle it. Like this This makes no sense. It makes no sense. What are those weird different and why are you talking that way? (laughs) Yeah. Oh That's not God. an iPhone. I don't understand. Like, what's wrong? Yeah. What's wrong with a that TV? Sidekick? What's a what sidekick? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So I don't think very many people know this, but your name is not actually Alex, right? Your name is no. Lauren. So how did Alex come about? Yeah, that's a big question. So um, my like full real name was Lauren Alexandria. Lauren Alexandria Hoosier, which is the old one, but um. So when my family moved to Laguna, I was nine and they were registering me for school. I had asked my parents if I could go by my middle name. So Alexandria Lauren, and they were just like, sure, whatever. Like they didn't really care. (laughs) So um, when I started elementary school in Laguna, that's like I first, where I first became Alexandria and then Alex for short, but through like I think you probably remember Kristen like when you would come over like my parents would still call me Lauren like they never Mm -hmm. adapted my dad would call me Alex but my family always called me Lauren so um a lot of people think my I went by Alex because there's already so many other Laurens on the show yeah but (laughs) no it was just it was just kind of by just like by chance like when I wanted to change it as an adult now you go by Lauren again though right yeah so now I'm back okay. to being Lauren I feel like okay. I identify with her a little bit more <laughs> 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 I mean if I go by Alex I'm just like Alex aged and it's like it's I don't yeah. know it's a weird yeah it's you're weird crisscross I think you're forever who's in my mind <laughs> um, yeah. well no and I love that who's we love who's who's <laughs> You mentioned your parents. What did, uh, what was their impressions and their kind of reaction of the show when it came out? Do you remember having any conversations with them? Um, yeah, they were totally supportive. They, they loved it. They had no quarrels about it. Um, I think, again, I don't think they knew like really what would come from it or like what would be exposed, like mm-hmm. the partying and the drinking. <laughs> but um, I mean, realistically, like they knew what was going on at the same time. But um, no, yeah, my parents, like they both, they encouraged it. They had no problem about it. I love that. Yeah, yeah, we had some fun for sure, which I don't, I mean, I think our parents knew what was going on, but maybe not to the extent at which it was happening. Yeah, yeah. Sure. And I, mean, I don't what, think they ever really watched it, so. Really? Yeah. If I was a parent, I oh, and that was my child on it, I mean. I would have watched it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I mean, Kristen, you said your dad, he is that you you weren't sure that he watched it tell you what because there were things on there i'm like he never talked to me about certain things so i'm like maybe he didn't see it i don't know yeah I or would, maybe I like your dad like, would watch it i do too but I, like even steven and i getting a hotel room after prom together like oh i'm God. pretty sure my dad would have been like hey by the way you're 17 why are you getting a hotel room with a, a boyfriend you know what yeah. i mean but, that's what they do in hey. the movies dad yeah right oh god <laughs> so you guys talked about all the the good times you had together there was one particular bad time i want to bring up which is of course the car breaking down which 
<laughs> and Kristen's life was a very bad time because she she was just so pissed off at this car, didn't want to be driving anymore. <laughs> Oh and in your life, Alex, you were like, what if this thing explodes? Like, I'm scared. We need to get out of here. There are some, you know, we, we've talked about, there are some really great uh, voice of reason moments when Kristen is is freaking out and she's saying, please break down on me. Please break down on me. And you're yeah. like, wait, Kristen, no way. And, you, and she's like, yeah, way. And you're like, but then you won't have a car. And then Kristen's like, oh yeah. So that to me <laughs> is, is a really great uh, moment. Uh, do you, I'm sure that's something that people bring up to you often, or do you, do you remember that scene very well? Oh yeah. That one's classic. I mean, first of all, Sam was there. So it's like, everything was going to be okay. Yep. Yep. Although but, I don't think he did or said no. anything. <laughs> yeah. I think he was just laughing, like, just like, cool, uh-huh. whatever. Like it didn't even phase him at all, but no. no, I think like I genuinely felt scared, but I think again, being so young and like growing up in a somewhat privileged, you know, part of town you like, like car problems, like a car full of smoke. Like in my mind, I'm like, oh, we're going to (laughs) explode. But um, it was like, it was kind of funny. Like it was all under control, but it just like, of course the cameras were there and it was perfect timing for that. But it definitely also was one of those moments that was like very real. And, you know, I don't think we would have acted any other way, like with or without camera. Right. A hundred percent. It's funny because people always thought that that was a fake scene because what are the Mm. chances we're car shopping and then my car breaks down. It's like, I I just think it's so funny that the stuff that people thought was fake was actually real. And the stuff Mm -hmm. that people assumed was real was all fake. Totally. I forgot we were car shopping on that one too. Yeah. 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 No, that was crazy. Random. Um, maybe like random times where people have recognized you or like a funny story that is unexpected where somebody has, as they're trying to put the pieces together, like, wait a minute, I feel like, How wait, are you? you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for sure. I think, um, I, I mean, not like now, like if there's any recognition, it's few and far between. Yep. Um, but I think because in the world too, I go by Lauren. So I'll meet people and they're like, you look so familiar to me. Like, how do I know you? Like, like, do you know this person or like, where do you, like, where are you coming from? But so, yeah. and as soon as I say, oh, I'm from Laguna Beach, like you can see the light bulb go off. Yeah. Um, which yep. is again, like kind of fun to like, not because I'm like, many times I'll say, okay, well, I was on the show, yada, yada. <laughs> but a, a lot of times I'm just like, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's great. But when I was living in Hawaii, I remember, um, there's a lot of international travel there, especially on Oahu. And I was at work and this really sweet Japanese lady came up to me and was, um, she clearly, she couldn't speak English. So she was kind of like using her hands to, to say certain things and like kind of doing this, like <laughs> usually that means, or like signaling to take a picture. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I was like, thought maybe she wanted me to take a picture of her. And then <laughs> she just like threw her broken English was able to say Laguna Beach. Oh my gosh! Oh my like, god! god. <laughs> yeah, oh, like, wow! So she couldn't even say my name or anything, but she was able to say that. So she got all excited, and I was like nodding my head, and we took a picture together. So that was one of those cool things. I was like, I didn't know it was in Japan wow. or wherever she might have seen it. So that was kind of cool to be like, okay, like international. That was wild to find that. out. I remember finding out that it was being broadcast around the world going mm-hmm. like whoa oh. that was never never brought up to me at any point I was like I thought this is like MTV staying within the U.S. and then some like so we'd be like hey I was in a hotel room in Belgium and there you were yeah like, what wow crazy. but I, I heard that, that they that. like dubbed our voices like if it was yeah. playing in Italy for example like they would have you know Italian voices over us I'm like that's one thing I wish I had gotten my hands on at one point yeah. just to see all of us and also in Italian. Great. <laughs> meet, meet the person yeah. that was doing your voice right yeah, <laughs> yeah. Totally. Like, like I wonder if they would say like <laughs> if I called you a slut if they really said slut. <laughs> right like I, we gotta get to the bottom of this <laughs> yes. if somebody has a DVD that is listening to this that is somewhere internationally please oh man send it in please. get a hold of us online yes yes we always wrap up with one kind of do-over from an episode and so we ask everyone that comes on if there's like one thing 
that you had to do over from the whole show, what would it be? Oh, probably wear less Ed Hardy and cut off <laughs> Yes! <laughs> I love it. It's so good. I feel you. It's so good. <laughs> I know, I, God. You know what? I look at some of the wardrobe you we were talking earlier about getting the free free clothing sent to us. And it was the worst thing. It was the greatest thing and the worst thing that could ever happen to us because we we're like, all right, sweet, I'll have to pay for clothing. Like I'll I'm gonna wear the majority of the shit. But we also got a lot of like terrible fucking brands that are just so ugly and do not age well. So Ooh, yeah. that's yeah. a good one. I feel you there. Well, cause they like Hollister and Abercrombie would send us clothes. And then eventually they, one of those brands made t-shirts with like all of like, like team Kristen or yep. like Dieter had one, like Dieter what was Dieter do? So then, yeah. <laughs> Did so you have one? Full was circle. It? I had a what would Dieter do shirt, but I wore it because he did that like that run from San yes, Diego. Running home or, for teens. And then yep. had the party. Oh. Yes. So I wore it at the end of the run at like the fundraiser. But did they have um, a, did those brands yeah. do a shirt with your name included? No. And I'm like, rude. what the heck? Rude. <laughs> rude. <laughs> really dropping the ball there. I know, but that's okay. <laughs> well, you it's been awesome to talk to you. You really are an MVP in this show and and do a great job. And it's been so fun to watch it and see you. And then obviously to connect with you now and talk about it is is really cool. Yeah. Aww, Alex, it's so you. good to see you. We got to figure out a time to get together. We'll make it happen. We have to. Yeah, we will for sure. And thank you guys so much for having me on. And so good to see you too. And um, yeah, super awesome. This is great. So fun. All right. We will talk soon. Okay. Bye guys. Bye.